Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. It's never a bad time to enjoy a Coke. If you don't believe me, ask any polar bear. It's their favorite drink. I wish they would pay me to promote them. Cut a couple of small squares of toilet paper and attach them to a thin wooden stick, creating the ultimate sugary liquid cleaner. Add a couple of rubber bands to hold it together and proceed to clean all traces of moisture inside. This hot month is my birthday, and oddly enough, I just realized that many close acquaintances also have birthdays this season, such as the incredibly handsome and intelligent Julio, which of my dear students also has a birthday in March. Maybe we can throw a super party with buckets of ramen and drinks of questionable origin. While you think about my proposal, I will continue to show you the electronic components we'll need on the next screen. With all the components on the table, we can start making the relevant connections. First, connect the black wire from the snap to one of the pins on the switch and following the order I prepared for you, the next step will be to connect the red wires from both the generator and the snap together. Preheat your soldering iron to 1000 degrees Celsius to begin the preventive soldering protocol for connections. Our quick and easy electrical circuit is complete. Just plug in the battery and test the discharge power. Cover each one of the connections with insulating tape for safety. You know what they say, a prepared inventor is worth double. Take the syringe from any bottle in the family medicine cabinet. Gently remove the supports to focus on this piece for the moment. With your circular saw, slice the support a few centimeters above where you normally place your finger, keeping only the part with the black rubber piece. Remove that piece of rubber so that you can easily drill the plastic. Through the hole we've just made, pass one of the high voltage generator wires and seal it by applying a bit of our super glue. In the same way, we'll put some of this sticky substance on one end of the generators to fuse the plastic extension to it. Create a couple of holes on the rubber so that it fits perfectly with the wires and test that it still has the same spark. Take your sharp box cutter out to slice the Coca-Cola bottle open like a chicken breast. Through this crack in the cesarean section, introduce the electrical circuit we designed as if we were stuffing a Christmas turkey. Everything has to fit. Ugh. Use our strong tool. Open a hole in the top half of the container large enough for our switch to fit. Secure it in position by applying glue before subjecting the cap to a power drill. Insert the electrifying extension of our circuit through the newly created hole. Screw the cap onto the container. The syringe container will undergo a reduction surgery where we'll slice off a little less than half of it by applying different avant-garde techniques. With the help of specialized sandpaper, remove all the spikes left on the cut edge and close the original liquid outlet on the syringe. With a magical snap, a little piece of foam appears. Make a cut from corner to corner to obtain two triangles. Put one on top of the other to cut it again, ending up with four triangles which we will use to assemble our small rocket. With a little instant glue, start installing the foam triangles which will be the ailerons. Now, we just have to spray a bit of thermoreactive liquid inside the rocket and place it in takeoff position. No one will expect you to use a bottle of Coca-Cola for self-defense. You're approached by a gangster on the street, boom, rocket to the face. Your brother dares to speak to you without your permission? He asked for it. Whatever the situation, the portable rocket launcher is your best choice. The following invention will make pouring water, soda, juice, or whatever you drink easier. To make it, we'll need an aluminum can, which is a good excuse to drink my 30-second Coke of the day. Who said that a diet based on this beloved soft drink was so harmful? Look at me, as fresh as lettuce. Could someone pass me the roll? I just can't get out of my chair. That sound gives me goosebumps. Remove the top part with the help of tweezers. Don't throw it away because it will be very useful later on. With a permanent marker, make a couple of small dots on the base of the can indicating where we'll have to drill the holes. Leave one hole larger than the other so that the objects we use can pass through. Pierce one side with the same drill and then find a whole roll of tubing. Cut a good sized piece with a pair of scissors, insert it into the larger hole, and thread it through the side hole. Look for any empty water bottle in the trash and remove the screw cap. 
With the help of a soldering iron, drill it to create the same holes as in the can. Once you have the holes created, take your box cutter to remove the melted pieces of plastic that refuse to come off and finish by sanding it down to perfection. Insert the other end of the tube through the larger hole in the cap and find a strange bottle claiming to be a bottle of mineral water to use its considerably larger cap. With a pencil, mark the circumference of the smaller lid on the larger lid and cut it with this innovative heat technique. Use your favorite instant glue to fuse the two caps together, applying a little around the junction of the two. Now that the caps are together as one, push the hose all the way through until the caps reach the can. Use super glue to secure it. Then, remove the motor from the fish tank for the thousandth time. Insert it into the can and put the pivot through the smallest hole. To put it to work, we'll need to assemble our familiar electrical system using a battery, the switch, and the wired clasp. You already know the process, plus it's shown on the screen, so in the meantime, who here likes soccer? I was always chosen to be the goalkeeper when I was little, because they said my chubbiness covered the goal more. Children can be very cruel. To finish, put the switch through the opening in the top piece that we initially put aside. Put all the connections inside the can, covering it with the top part and sealing everything with super glue. Without further ado, please welcome our very own home water dispenser. Water at the touch of a button. Sounds good, doesn't it? That could be the slogan. To continue with this good habit of drinking a Coca-Cola for every invention, I have nothing left to say but cheers. Dry the liquid that might be left inside your container and then slice the bottom of the container off with your box cutter and wipe it out again. Cut the rounded part of a balloon to use as a cap for the open part of the container. This simple sheet of white paper will be what will do all the magic. Roll it up using a tubular object and use a few pieces of tape to keep it shape. Once we have our paper tube, put it inside the container and fasten it with one of your mother's dearest clothespins. The only thing that will be needed now is to set fire to the paper so that all the gases it produces are trapped inside the bottle. Look at that perfect ring. All we have to do is pull and slightly release the balloon behind it to produce this beautiful spectacle. Let's see who can make rings quicker. One, two, three, I have four, five. The last invention of the day will make you feel like a real Iron Man, just low budget. Being a millionaire is a complicated thing. First, glue the two popsicle sticks together and with more of my familiar magic snaps, we'll multiply them like a person in the Bible did with some bread. Continue by piling them on top of each other, not forgetting the small pieces as well. Two more popsicle sticks to reinforce the structure and the base will be ready. Through the hole that we intentionally left, put a piece of wood to mark the place where we'll have to make a groove like the one you are seeing on your screen. From the first aid kit, take a dreaded syringe and remove its menacing needle. We will also remove the support before slicing the tabs on the syringes to leave them round. Once the surgery is finished, reinsert the support and superglue a piece of popsicle stick to the syringe. Then, install it on the initial structure. Add glue to keep it in place before bringing in the new popsicle stick, which we will cut following the shape of a perfectly drawn parabola. Advanced mathematics, you wouldn't understand. Once installed, get a rubber band and place it over our launcher, hooking it on the small spikes that are on each side and reinforcing it with a little more instant glue. This could already pass for a cool invention, but the trick here is that you can manipulate it with just one hand in the purest Avengers style. We're going to create a cardboard glove with the design of a lady enjoying her drink. I told you it was low budget. It is also quite ergonomically designed, which is better than being built with the pieces of technology and having tiny lights. To add more density and make it more colorful, add a little dye and mix it until it dissolves. To make the liquid flow, cut a small piece from the tube and connect it to the syringe. 
place the remaining end inside the glass, touching the liquid to absorb some of this Smurf water. Just three or four milliliters will be enough. Connect it to the syringe attached to the glove and go out and fight the forces of evil. Julio, turn on the defenses. Stable mobility. Normal trigger sensitivity. Preparing villain exterminating spear. All in position, assisted aiming activated. I am Creator King. Tun tun taran. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.